And so uh, to show that it, yes, Black Wall Street was prominent and it's important to learn the history, but we also got to learn about people like this as well. So this was Black wealth, uh, early Black wealth, uh, one, this was first generation out of slavery. So um, mm -hmm. these existed all over. And so that's kind of why, you know, I was so excited to do the class because the, the Black history in those areas directly tie into Greenwood as well. All right. Uh, Solomon says, what, what was the religious church message or ideal when it came to the thought on giving compared to the message today when it comes to finances? Okay. So I guess he's asking about churches. Uh, how, you know, is there a difference between the mindset of a church say today versus say, the mindset of a church in Greenwood in 1920? Uh, how would you compare the two? Yeah, I'd say there's, there's a difference, but there's also a lot of similarities. So, uh uh, shameless plug, my sister Christy Williams, uh, she runs uh, Black Black History Saturdays where she she takes out time and teaches Black History on Saturday for free uh, to Black folks to pull up. Uh, so, uh, But she also is a member and doing a lot of great work over at Vernon AME. Um, I'm a person that I, I was, I was always kind of looking at the churches like, man, I wish they were the way they were back in the day. Uh, that church is one that I see being on that track because it's more than just a place of worship. It is a place where uh, Black people connect. Uh, I've watched that church feed uh, feed people for literally every day uh, since COVID. They could have stopped when COVID was over and, you know, and all of that was done, but they continue to do it every single day. Uh, and it's a meal for whoever needs it. They, they find a way to fund it themselves. It's actually cooked meals. They're not handing out McDonald's. So um, if I could go to church in 1919 in Greenwood, uh, Vernon, and for Vernon to be the church that, you know, the foundation of that church survived the massacre. So they actually still have uh, the burned bricks on the building um, from the massacre. So um, that one is that way. I think that other churches uh, have become more of uh, taking the mega church model. Uh, so it brings in finance. But that sense of community is still it's not the same. So I think that churches back then, which Greenwood history shows, uh, it was the armory. It was the place where you went to um, not only praise, but connect with people. It was a place you went for resources. It was our community center before we had community centers. And so I think that it is different now. Uh, but Vernon, Vernon AME is a, is a church that I've personally seen with my own two eyes uh, try to do their best to get back to being what the Greenwood spirit is supposed to be. Okay. Um, I'd, <clears throat> first off, actually, I want to jump down to Gigi's question about, um, this is more technical. Uh, is Gigi says she keeps getting logged out of the Zoom. Is anybody, uh, is, is everybody okay with that? Or are you, you're not getting logged out, are you? Let me know if you're able to hear and see everything okay and you're not having any problems. Just type, good. I'm good, or uh okay or or no okay no i'm good okay thank you jan jasmine okay i see that all right great okay yeah so sorry gg it looks like it might be on your end <clears throat> i thought maybe the zoom was uh overflowed or something like that uh but i think we we uh we're not totally at capacity we're close to it but uh okay yeah so it, it might be just on your end gg uh there is a link on youtube uh, that you can actually take a look at and um, i can share that link if you need it chanel's in the chat she can help you as well uh, okay, so uh, Audrey wants to know, do you have a book? Have you ever written a book about your grandparents' stories and experiences or anything like that? I have not yet. Um, I told myself I have to I have to be a service to the block for at least another two years before I do. Um, I, I'm a person that I believe in, you know, putting in my 10,000 hours um, as best I can before, um, before doing something like that. And I also wanted to make sure that um, I got the blessing of everybody that I, I want to include in. So there's still a few names and people that I've yet to be able to actually sit down and have that talking to about it. Uh, but I also want to, I do want to write a book in a way that uh, doesn't just give out, you know, stories. I, I, I want it to be a way to where you could literally just erase the name and plug in your family's name. And you feel like these are your people too, you know? So um, yeah, it, it's a process, but one day for sure. Okay. Uh, our